So here we continue writing our Bash shell script that is designed to create a web page out of the contents of a directory specified on the command line to our script. So, so, so far what we've got in our structure is we've got a, an if statement that makes sure we have the right number of command line arguments, and then we have another test to make sure that the, the string that the user supplies is actually the path name for an actual directory. <clears throat> and then we sort of demonstrated how we can use find to actually dump the contents of, of each directory, all the files and all the directories and all the subdirectories and their subdirectories, and then we're going to pipe that through, a, a do a while loop, where, and read is going to read one line at a time and stick it in the dollar sign, or, or in the variable dollar sign f. And so, so we're going to continue that. So the next thing I want to show you is, is the Unix command called base name. So base, base name is kind of useful from time to time in scripts for just getting the, the, the actual last name in a fully qualified path. So if I say foo bar path base name foo bar wayne, you can see that that just picks off the last element after all the slashes, right? So if the thing doesn't begin with a slash, what notice what happens, it still does the same thing. So it really gets the string after the last slash. Conversely, dir name gets the other part. So if I say foo, foo, bar, wing, and actually make sure I put that slash on there, right? You can see that it gets the directory part, the slash foo and the slash bar, right? So so together, the dir name and the base name kind of give us what we want. So let's let's do something here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, and I'm going to go ahead and define a, um, the the base name. We'll call it. Let's see. We'll call it the um, file. I'll make a I'll make a local local directory called file, and I'm going to call, call base name on dollar sign f, and then I'm just going to go ahead and. Um, go ahead and just echo file to 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 standard output. So I'll be the, that should just get the file name for this. So let me go ahead and run my script. So if I say dir to HTML and give it um, home, give it my home directory, pipe that to more. You can see what it's doing is is getting all the files without their directory name, right? So now if it's if it's that's only if it's a regular file. If it's not a regular file, then then we, we might want to skip it at this point. Um, well anyway, let's let's drive on here. So um, similarly I could go ahead and get the, the get the directory name by saying oops, saying uh, dir, dir name dollar sign f. And we could we could um, echo echo that. Actually, we could do these. We could change this, and we could echo. If we see how this works, we could say echo dir file. We'll do something like this. Echo dir file, and go ahead and run our script again. And you can see it, it gives me the the names of the directories and the files, assuming there is one. So. So similarly, I could run it on the current directory, but you can see it doesn't really give me stuff as much as much interesting. All right. Okay. So so we can get the file and the directory. So now what I want to do is I actually want to know sort of I'm going to print out the file name, but I kind of want to know the the indentation level. So how can I get the indentation level? Well, if you look, if you look at a file name, right? So if I take, um, if I look at a file like, let's see, if I echo home, you can see it's got two slashes. So what I want to do is I want to indent, I want to count how many slashes are in the string. So how could I do that? So how could I count slashes? Well, I could echo home, and what I could do is I could notice one thing I do with translate is I with translates I can actually say delete everything that is a I 
you delete everything that is a slash, say. Say it's a slash. And notice, so this is another use of translate. So this is a translate command to, to delete everything that isn't a slash, right? So you can see that got rid of the slashes in there, right? I could do the complement, and that's going to get rid of everything that isn't a slash. So notice I just get the slash slash out, right? So, so is there a way to use the translate command to count? So now if I could just get the length of that string, well, that's where um, the word count comes in. So, for example, in my if I look at the word count, word count, if I want to know the number of lines in a file, you can say w, word count dash l will give me the number of lines in a file, or I can I can do it this way too. Word counts not lines. That'll give me the number of lines. If I want the number of words. Or if I want the number of actual characters, I use a dash M. So there's actually 255 characters in that. I can get the number of bytes, which should be the same number in this particular case. So what I can do is use this, this particular man, command, which notice that gives me the number of slashes. So what I could do is pipe that to word count and output the number I want the number of characters in that, which is two. So lo and behold, that'll give me, that will actually give me the length of, they'll tell me the number of slashes in, a, in the string. So I could say, I'll call it, um, we'll say, I'll say count, and so what we're gonna do here is we're going to echo dollar sign F, through the translate command and do this complement. We're going to delete anything that isn't a slash. So, so it's, we're going to put just slashes and then we're going to count the number of words that are in that. And that should give us the count. All right, so what we'll do is, let's go ahead and just, what we'll, what we'll do is we'll echo the, the file name followed by the, the number that count, the number of slashes in that. Let's see how this works. So let's do, so let's do this. So I'm gonna say dir name, and we'll say, um, I'll just start with something simple like dot. So you can see that, um, yeah, so one, so zero slashes, one slashes. So let's try this on my home directory and pipe it through more. So yeah, we can see it looks like this does a pretty accurate job of counting the number of slashes. All right, cool. So now we know the number of slashes, and that's kind of going to give us our ind indentation level at this point. So, so what I want to do, so this is going to be our indentations, right? So this we'll call this indent. Indent. And so what I want to do is I'm going to indent so I'm going to I'm going to make a little loop that's going to indent that far. So here we go. So let's let's make a little loop. So I'm going to set, I'm going to set a counter. I'm going to say set it initialize it to indent. And I'm going to say while my well my counter is greater than 0, then I'm going I'm going to Let's see, let's go ahead and echo. Now I want to do an echo, now echo without echoing a new line at the end. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna echo uh, three slashes out. And then I'm gonna decrement my count. So my new count, so to decrement, remember the way to decrement is there's no way, at least traditionally there's no way in the shell to, to do a decrement, although bash has stuff for this. We can actually just call the expression command. So notice I put the expression command in back quotes. So I'm going to call the expression command on count minus one. And, and that's going to end my while loop. And if you notice something, the Emacs kind of auto indents things. So if something's not indented right, I can just hit the tab key. And you know, like for, for, for done here, I can hit the tab key and it auto, Emacs auto indents that. So 
So, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to loop through and I'm going to I'm going to output three dashes for every indentation level, and then I'm going to print. Let's let's go ahead and print the the file name. So let's go ahead and just say echo file. Um, all right, so let's give this a go. See what happens. Oh, oops. Um, yes, forgot a dollar sign here. There we go. That's why I like to do my shell scripts incrementally because it's very easy to actually make a small error and have it blow up. All right, oops, we're still blowing up. Command not found, dollar sign two. Oh, yes, this can have a dollar sign there. Okay, so, all right, third time to charm. Nope, nope, command not found. Expression, uh, oh, let's see. Oh, yes, can't have spaces there. Ah, there we go. Fourth time's a charm. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to just print dashes on. There we go. So then the dashes kind of shows the, the indentation level that we have at this point. All right, so there's a good start. Now, one of the things you, we might want to be careful of is what happens if we've got a file, so we got something with spaces in it. So if I say, Dir name on the current directory, right? So file with spaces, seems like that's okay. We're not gonna have, oh, usage, dir name path, aha. So we need to make sure if we've got spaces in there to, to put quotes around this so that it doesn't because spaces, right? So I'm gonna put quotes around all those and we give it, give it another try with that. Yeah, there we go. So we're good there. All right. There it is. So now we've kind of made a little bit of progress. So we can kind of get the, the indentation level for now. And so on the next video, what we'll do perhaps is we'll see if we can figure out a little bit more about how to format the output. We'll end right there for now.